When most people hear the name King Henry, they think of Henry VIII who ruled in England in the 1500s. That's unfortunate because there's a much better example for us in another king named Henry and we're celebrating his feast today. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki and the royal saint whom we honor today is Henry II, Duke of Bavaria and the Holy Roman Emperor who died in 1024. Of course, as king, he was wealthy, but he used his wealth wisely, not selfishly. Listen to how he talked about this in a letter he wrote. By the instructions of sacred eloquence, we are taught and advised to abandon temporal riches, to lay aside earthly goods, and to strive to reach the eternal and everlasting dwelling places in heaven. For present glory is fleeting and meaningless while it is possessed, unless in it we can glimpse something of heaven's eternity. Not turning a deaf ear to the Lord's commandments and obediently following divine urgings, we desire to take the treasures of divine generosity bestowed upon us by His bounty and store them in heaven, where thieves cannot dig them up or steal them, and rust or moth may not destroy them. Now there's a man who had his priorities right. He saw material goods as signs of God's blessings that were to be used to bless others. In that way, you can lay up true treasure, treasure in heaven. For everything that you give away to help another will end up bringing you even greater happiness in heaven. You can't take material wealth with you when you die but you can use it to store up treasure in heaven. <laughs>